Galileo Galilei, taking a stand in history. So, who was Galileo? Galileo Galilei was a Tuscan astronomer, physicist, mathematician, inventor, and philosopher, born in 1564 and died in 1642. He was born in Pisa, Italy, and was the oldest of six children in his family. When he was a young man, his father sent him to study me medicine at the University of Pisa, but Galileo studied mathematics instead. He was a monumental figure in his time. Some discoveries of note included his famous discovery of terminal velocity by dropping two balls of different sizes and weights off the Tower of Pisa to have them land at the same time, as well as the fact that Galileo made his most notable discovery about the pendulum. The period, or the time, which a pendulum swings back and forth does not depend on the arc of the swing, the isochronism. The time in which he was born is of major importance to how his discoveries were treated. During the time of his discoveries, the church was the main part of the Italian life, and if the church believed something, it was wise to believe them. With this, when Galileo found data to support an idea that did not line up with the churches, they had to stop him from spreading misinformation. Now, you may be asking, what did Galileo even do? Well, how Galileo revolutionized the concept of our place in the universe is little understood by most, but Galileo observed the moons of Jupiter, now known as the Galilean moons, which he recorded in his treatise, the Sidereus Nuncius, published in 1610. The observation was very controversial, as it proved that Earth was not the only center of movement in the universe. It also lent support to the idea that Earth moved around the Sun, a heretical belief which eventually led to Galileo's imprisonment. Galileo confirmed the studies of other famous scientists, like Copernicus, and although he was chastised by the Church for his findings, the Church allowed him to con continue his work. Eventually, the church had enough, putting him on trial for heresy and tried to force him to tell the world his findings were wrong. He refused, and was first in prison and then later confined to his home. In 1604, Galileo published the operations of the geometrical and military compass, revealing his skills with experiments and practical technological applications. He also constructed a hydrostatic balance for measuring small objects. These developments brought him additional income and more recognition. The same year, Galileo refined his theories of motions and falling objects, and developed the universal law of acceleration, which all objects in the universe obeyed. Galileo began to express openly his support of the Copernican theory that the Earth and planets revolved around the Sun. This challenged the doctrine of Aristotle, an established order set by the Catholic Church. In July 1609, Galileo learned about a simple telescope built by Dutch eyeglass makers, and he soon developed one of his own. In August, he demonstrated to some Venetian merchants who saw it as value for spotting ships and gave Galileo salary to manufacture seven, several of them. However, Galileo's ambitions pushed him to go further, and in the fall of 1609, he made the fateful decision to turn his telescope towards the heavens. In March 1610, he published a small booklet, The Starry Messenger, revealing his discoveries that the moon was not flat and smooth, but a sphere with mountains and craters. He found Venus had phases like the moon, proving it rotated around the sun. He also discovered Jupiter had ro revolving moons, which did not revolve around the Earth. Soon. Galileo began mounting a body of evidence that supported Copernican theory and contradicted Aristotle and the church doctrine. In 1612, he published his Discourse on Bodies in Water, refuting the Aristotelian explanation on why objects float in water, saying that it wasn't because of their flat shape, but instead the weight of the object in relation to the water it displaced. In 1613, he published his Observations of Sunspots, which further refuted Aristotelian doctrine that the sun was perfect.
How did Galileo take a stand in history? Well, Galileo proved that the church wasn't always right. Galileo wrote a letter to a student to explain how Copernican theory did not contradict biblical passages, stating that scripture was written from an earthly perspective, and implied that science provided a different, more accurate perspective. The letter was made public, and church inquisition consultants pronounced Copernican theory heretical. In 1616, Galileo was ordered not to hold, teach, or defend in any manner the Copernican theory regarding the motion of the earth. Galileo obeyed the order for seven years, partly to make his life easier and partly because he was a devoted Catholic. In 1623, a friend of Galileo, Cardinal Maffeo Barberini, was selected as Pope Urban VIII. He allowed Galileo to pursue his works on astronomy and even encouraged him to publish it on condition it be objective and not advocate Copernican theory. In 1632, Galileo, Galileo, Galileo published the Dialogues concerning the two chief world systems, a discussion among three people, one who supported Copernicus's heliocentric theory of the universe, one who argued against it, and one who was impartial. Though Galileo claimed dialogues were neutral, it was clearly not. The advocate of Aristotelian belief comes across as a simpleton, getting caught in his own arguments. Galileo Galilei was a man of science who graduated from the University of Pisa. New Astronomy was a growing field at the time, time, and not much was known about space and heaven, moved, except for what had been pre-established, the such as the theory the that the Earth was the center of the solar system, otherwise known as the Ptolemaic system, founded by its namesake, Ptolemy. This belief was used extensively. It was believed to be fact by everyone, including the Catholic Church itself. When Galileo found new evidences to support the theory of the Copernican system, this Many discovery moved forward later, a topic however, which had been previously set in stone. Copernicus the belief that, that the Earth was at the center of the universe to was wrong. In front of different constellations. Galileo shattered he these the beliefs and practically changed all. the entire course Instead, of where the, the Earth field was headed. Moves around the By sun. standing up for what he had discovered, he had given and shared his voice and findings to a his new generation. He took his ideas and produced more and more findings, advancing the field dramatically more than it had been previously. People believed in a geocentric theory, which states that our Earth is in the center of our solar system, and that planets, suns, and stars orbit Earth. There weren't any telescopes then, so people didn't have any evidence to support any other theories. Galileo's telescope was rather small. It didn't have a lot of power, and the resolution was poor. Finding objects throughout the night sky would be rather difficult to accomplish. So, he decided to observe the moon, since it was big, bright, and easy to find, even with a small telescope. When he observed the moon, he was blown away. He saw that the moon had mountains and craters on it. It didn't have the smooth surface that everybody thought it had. This observation was important because the door was open for new possibilities for the composition of the solar system. If the moon was different, what else could be? Galileo, in January of 1610, decided to turn his telescope to Jupiter. He was shocked at what he observed. Jupiter, as it turned out, was a completely different world, different from the Earth, and had had its own moons. Before telescopes, people believed that planets were magical stars that wandered around the night sky. So, discovering a whole new world was a great honor, and Galileo was excited. In December of 1610, Galileo made a new discovery that would change and challenge the geocentric theory. He observed Venus and noticed how, over time, Venus waned and waxed like the moon. This is Galileo's most important discovery, because it was the evidence that proved that the sun is in the center of our solar system, or the heliocentric theory. After these amazing observations and discoveries had been made, he began sending his evidence to scientists all over the world, and they began building bigger and better telescopes. In conclusion, Galileo Galilei was a major figure in the field of astronomy, and in science as a whole. His discoveries concerning the planets, the sun, and earth, as well as his refusal to be silenced, show that he took a massive stand in history against the Catholic Church, a monumental adversary who could sway the public opinion to their own beliefs. Although he was not entirely successful at defeating his opponents, which led him to be imprisoned and later house arrest, his ideas spread quickly throughout the scientific community, gaining him recognition as well as respect in later years.